Summer Redstone is stepping down from the board of Viacom. The 93-year-old Viacom chairman emeritus will resign following the company's annual board meeting in February. Here to discuss is WSJ Media and Marketing Assistant News Editor Keech Hagee. Keech, thanks so much for being with us. This news comes on the heels of Redstone and his daughter Sherry's failed efforts to merge Viacom and CBS, doesn't it? It does, and one of the more interesting things about that is, you know, first of all, he's 93 years old. He's not in good health. That's not a breaking news headline. Um, but his signature was on the letter that was sent from National Amusements, the family holding company, to the board saying, let's call off these merger explorations. So, you know, his signature kind of looked like this. Yes, um, but it was there. But it's there. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're, you know, here we see a vote from the, uh, not exactly of confidence from the company saying, you know, it's time for him to step Absolutely. And this also comes on the heels of all the legal battles that we've been hearing about, some which are getting a little bit sorted as well, correct? Right. In the midst of all this just this week, there have been two lawsuits filed um, by his former companion, one against him and one against his daughter, Sherry, that are sort of responses to a suit from, uh, from October where basically his legal team said, uh, these women, uh, they, they, it was an elder abuse suit, and they took advantage of me, and I want my $150 million of gifts back. And the gist of all of this is, what is his mental capacity, correct? Exactly. And we've been asking this question, and there have been lawsuits about this for over a year now, um, people asking one question, does he have mental capacity? And it's still kind of a question mark. And according to this proxy, I guess he's not going away completely, right? He'll have a non-voting role? Right. So he's going to keep his chairman emeritus title, mm -hmm. which he took back in February. So back in February, when there are a lot of these questions like coming to the fore from another lawsuit from another woman, um, the, he stepped back from being executive chairman to just being chairman emeritus, but he kept his vote. Mm -hmm. And now he's going to basically still, I think, you know, he, he's, in, he's in his home. So right. he'll probably be on the phone at board meetings, but um, he won't be voting. And how about the current Viacom CEO, Bob Backish? It seems like he has support from National Amusements and the family, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He got the permanent job uh, on Monday when the company said he didn't want to merge. And, you know, here he has a great relationship with Sherry Redstone, who is, you know, Summer's daughter and has really has a new position of power right. um, in the company. So um, they're, they're going to make a big bet that he can turn around the company. Very interesting. Now, of course, we know that Viacom shares have been down, but they are up on this news. Well, it's interesting. I mean, the, the market yeah. broadly is. It's a very tumultuous time um, for Viacom, so it, I think it's too early to know like how, how the, markets how the market is really going to respond to the new direction forward. Right, right. And, and we know that Viacom shares are down, what, 13% over last year? Is that right? Something. So they were really battered by this power mm -hmm. struggle that happened over the summer, the spring and summer. Um, there's just total chaos. You know, they're on their third CEO this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, it's never good for, for a company. And so um, it, it hurt the company a lot. It will take a while to see how the market responds to, to this finally. All right, Keech Hagee, thank you so much for that. Thanks.